Welcome to Component 22, Care Coordination and Interoperable Health IT Systems, Unit 12, Data-Driven Care Coordination Strategy, Lecture B, Interoperability and Care Coordination. This unit provides data-driven care coordination strategies for successful transfer of patient care information through improved use of technology and analytics. It covers the definition of opportunities for and challenges facing achieving interoperability. The objectives for this unit, Data-Driven Care Coordination Strategy Lecture B, is to evaluate interoperability opportunities and challenges. As an example, consider one of the standards the medical home model requires below. Improved access is intended to improve continuity of care with the patient's provider and reduce use of the emergency room, ER, and other sites of care. Consider the pathway described above and link implementation to outcomes for PCMH expanded access. If the intervention you are evaluating tests this standard, you would consider how the medical home practices will expand access. Will the practices use extended hours, email and telephone interactions, or have a nurse or physician on call after hours? How will the practices inform patients of the new options and any details about how to use them? Because nearly all interventions are adapted locally during implementation, and many are not implemented fully, the logic model should specify process indicators to document how the practices implemented the approach. For practices that use email interactions to increase access, some process indicators could include how many patients were notified about the option by mail or during a visit, the overall number of emails sent to and from different practice staff, the number and distribution by provider and per patient, and time spent by practice staff initiating and responding to emails. In deciding which measures to collect, consider those likely to reflect critical activities that must occur to reach intended outcomes, and balance this with an understanding of the resources needed to collect the data and the impact on patient care and provider workflow. Assess which process indicators are easiest to collect depending on the available data systems and the feasibility of setting up new ones. When analyzing reimbursement data, healthcare payment data may be a mixture of fee-for-service, for example, where primary care practices continue to be reimbursed under their existing fee-for-service delivered types of payment arrangements with health plans, fixed transformation payments, where primary care practices with NCQA recognition receive a per patient per month fee paid semi-annually between $3.50 and $6. Part of this payment is invested into care coordination and incentive payments where primary care practices that have reported on a set of clinical quality and utilization measures receive a share of actual savings generated by reducing total cost of care through improved patient outcomes. This is the shared savings. According to HIMSS, interoperability describes the extent to which systems and devices can exchange data and interpret that shared data. For two systems to be interoperable, they must be able to exchange data and subsequently present that data such that it can be understood by a user. As such, ongoing collaboration is necessary for interoperability. Information sharing must be enabled to save more patients' lives. However, various corporations' concerns surrounding proprietary systems and software can inhibit working together and sharing interface information or data. Large entities are requested to pledge working toward interoperability, even if it means sharing data with competitors' systems. Some of the challenges to interoperability include the non-uniform application of meaningful use in all care settings. Home health and hospice care may not meaningfully use electronic health records. A lack of policy oversight enables this environment and jeopardizes interoperability. 
Additional challenges with technology hinder interoperability. For example, there is limited certification criteria on how to read APIs. Lack of standard payment adjustments means avoiding of negative payment adjustments and qualifying almost three times the amount of positive adjustments. Trends show slow but continued movement towards regulating health technology in the future. An ONC task force is still working on connecting the tech sector. Top challenges to interoperability include securing data to meet the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, regulations across systems. For example, Compliance to HIPAA regulations for using personal apps, consider the many innovative personal applications and in information technology that can be any application in the use of any technology, system, or product to support interoperability. Another challenge is encryption and cybersecurity breaches. Electronic PHI has been encrypted as specified in the HIPAA security rule by the use of an algorithmic process to transform data into a form in which there is a low probability of assigning meaning without use of confidential process or key, 45 CFR 164.304 definition of encryption, and such confidential process or key that might enable decryption has not been breached. To avoid a breach of the confidential process or key, these decryption tools should be stored on a device or at a location separate from the data they are used to encrypt or decrypt. Interoperability must respect and conform to the encryption processes that officially have been tested by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, and judged to meet the standard. The possibility of patients and families taking charge of their own data and care coordination is something to consider about the future of interoperability. Consumers can drive the creation of their own applications used to connect with physicians and care coordination teams. For example, amongst mobile healthcare mHealth circles, consumers are encouraged to discover and fill opportunity gaps. Furthermore, health startups don't wait on big businesses to create systems and product. Smaller businesses in health innovation or wearables may act as catalysts for interoperability. Also, we must consider that the pace of change in technology affects interoperability. Quick movement in the field of technology often renders older systems obsolete and new players constantly enter the space. Thus, the landscape for interoperability may look very different in just one to two years from today. Refer to Component 22, Unit 3 for more information on barriers to interoperability. This concludes Lecture B, Interoperability and Care Coordination of Unit 12, Data-Driven Care Coordination Strategy. In summary, this lecture covered analytic tools to evaluate efficiency of coordination strategies, ways to evaluate interventions in care coordination, and future opportunities and challenges for increasing interoperability. This concludes Unit 12, Data-Driven Care Coordination Strategy. In summary, there are a variety of data sources that can be used to coordinate patient care. Various analytical tools can be used to evaluate efficiency of care coordination strategies. And rapid changes in industry present many opportunities and challenges for increasing interoperability.